Now, what does this image say to you? Bus stop maybe, or perhaps a potting shed? Well, it's actually one of the last remaining drowners huts along the Froome Valley in Dorset. They were where workers who flooded the fields every year to ensure farmland stayed fertile would rest out of the rain and sometimes sleep overnight as well. The water meadows were a mainstay of the local economy during the 18th century, but now are at risk of disappearing. Our Dorset reporter Anna Val has been exploring a picturesque part of history. Men were at work here and there, for it was the season for taking up the meadows, or digging the little waterways clear for the winter irrigation. Hardy country. But are these meadows, which so inspired the author, about to become a forgotten landscape? Hundreds of years ago, this valley would have been buzzing with workers digging a network of channels to flood the fields, all to ensure the land was rich for spring grazing. It's in a very complicated fashion, but what that's doing is it's providing a sh almost a sheen of water across the surface. Um, hence why it's called drowning. They are literally drowning the landscape. Those workers used to shelter in drowners' huts. Now, there are very few of these remaining. And this is where the drowners would shelter from the weather or use it as a storage base, sometimes even spend the night. It's difficult to legally protect the history contained within these meadows. And so it falls to river keepers such as John Aplin. I've, I've worked on the river all my life and I've known this little hut. It's, it's just part of the heritage, you know, once these things are gone, then that's it, they're gone. So we need to maintain them, look after them and keep them for our children's children to see them and enjoy them. Farmers are still reaping the benefits of this highly fertile land, but the practice of the past is no longer affordable. In those days, there were an awful lot more staff working on the farms Unfortunately, as, as time has gone on, finances in farming have changed, so we can't, we can't afford to keep these maintained. This historic practice may have endured in literature, but there are now calls for this countryside to be protected in the future.